Atomic Habits The great successes in your life are made up of small accomplishments every day. I went to look the New York Times bestseller called Atomic Habits because life is better than it is. Small change that produces the greatest results. Written by James Clear, a global expert on habit formation, and New York Times bestseller writer. It is a book that has sold millions of copies, which has been translated into more than 40 languages around the world. Today, I, as a life coach, would like to volunteer to review this book, but let's review in strategic man style. To extract the essence of the book, and maybe add some of my opinions, in order to add flavor to the review. Are you ready? If you're ready, let's get started. Introduction James begins to tell us where to go of changing himself, and be an expert on habit formation. As a child, James was a great baseball player, but one day he had an accident in the race to the point that the ability to be a good player was almost gone. But, after receiving treatment, along with efforts to change himself little by little, finally, James was able to turn him back and have excellent skills in regards to being a national athlete again. The experiences at that time is the starting point, causing him to study both science and art to create habits. Until he became world-class experts to form a habit in the end. Change 1% per day. Results will improve 37 times in one year. The success of all people in this world, no matter what kind of success they are, is a product of habit routine, it's not for many changes only once in life. James also gives a global example, British Cycling Federation. That's a lot of small changes of the British Cycling Federation in 2003. Before 2003, British Cycling Federation was considered to be the bad cycling team. They never won any victory for a long time for 100 years. But, after gradually improving many small things for a while continuously, the result of this little changes were enabling the British Cycling Federation to build a world-class bike team that swept a lot of trophies. James says that habits are like compound interest. The interest rate will gradually increase and will be added to the principal. Little by little increase will become an addition like a rocket. If you give it some time. On the contrary performing bad habits 1% per day, you will become a sucker in one year. James said that the concept of change little by little is not difficult at all. But most people can't, because they maybe can't wait patiently to the emergence of results that takes a time for a while. Success is like melting ice. Let's take a piece of ice and put it on the table. Then gradually increase the temperature to this ice. Start at 25 degrees and gradually increase by degree which are 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 and 32 degrees. In the temperature range of 26 to 31 degrees, nothing seems to happen. But when it reaches 32 degrees, the ice begins to melt. The ice melting can be compared as results, that requires a period of time that we put heat into, at least 6 degrees from the starting point, 25 degrees. Heat is like trying to produce results. This happens, when the temperature is 32 degrees. Creating any results in our lives, can be compared with an example in Melting of the ice above. Forget the goals, but focus on the process. Of course, doing anything must start with a goal. Goals must be clear because the obvious goal is to command the brain or communicate with our subconscious to generate habits towards that clear goals. However, goals must also be converted to action processes, because of focusing on goals but lacking plans or action plans that must lead to action, it might make us fantasize, or focus solely on the goal until not focusing on process and taking action. In my opinion, as a life coach, I view that the goal is important that we use as the starting point, that will lead us to the formulation of the practical process. The practical processes, then, will allow us to act according to the action plan. The key point is to act through the process, little by little, 
every day. This is the important thing to focus on. If you can do this, the goal will come to you. Habits determine who you are or your personality determines your habits. James said, there are three levels of change. One, the change in the result level, for example, losing weight, becoming a sports champion, etc. Second, the change at the process level. Change at this level is a matter of habit formation. And third, the change in identity level. Change at this level is a change. At the subconscious level, such as beliefs, attitudes, worldview. James suggests, that creating a habit, that is lasting, and lead to happiness sustainably in life must start with a change at the deepest level, that is, a change in thought, belief, attitude, or change in identity level. This is because our behaviors will be the result of feeling, thoughts at the identity level, so if we can't change at the deepest level it's hard to change your habits. And this is what makes most people can't change, little by little, because of thoughts, and beliefs at the subconscious level not cooperating to create change. Build a better habit in four easy steps. Habits are repetitive behaviors, that are turned to automatic. Habit formation starts with trial and error. Then the brain remembers the right trial and develops it into a habit. That is, after the brain has learned, that if you do this, it will yield good results. After that, the brain doesn't have to think much, if we face with a situation like this. Let's do this. This is a habit. From the above phenomenon, it can be summarized into four stages of habit formation. 1. Stimulating factors are those, that stimulate the brain through our five sense. Second, Desire is when the brain is stimulated. Stimulating factors will generate feeling, emotion, need, wanting to be, wanting to have, and so on. Third, the response is the behavior that is done to fulfill to that wish. Four, rewards are generated after the response behavior has occurred. For example, one man worked very hard so he was feeling stressed. So he wanted to relieve stress. He thought smoking might help relieve stress. Then he picked up a cigarette and lit it, and smoked that. It appeared that smoking has relieved stress. This man did this often every time he stressed. Finally he eventually got into the habit of smoking. 4 Techniques That Help Build Habits James recommends 4 techniques. For building a habit, briefly summarized as follows. 1. Must make it clear. The first thing is to understand that how are your present habits, which habits are good and which ones are bad for your life. Take note of these habits and try to understand that each habit formation is regarding the R4 steps of habit formation. If still confused, think of a picture of your friend both people with the ones with good habits and the ones with bad habits. Why does they have that habit? Subsequently, let's take a look at that method to look back at yourself. Second, create motivation. Once you understand the four-step process of building a habit, whether it's a good habit or a bad habit, the next step is to answer the question, what is the motivation that leads to creating good habits or breaking bad habits? For example, when working out, maybe watch your favorite Netflix movies as well. It will keep you motivated to exercise. Or put yourself in a society of people who want to achieve success in that matter, it will help motivate you. Or, use a positive self-talk or changing the way we say it. For example, from ever saying do I have to do this again? Become I'm really lucky with the opportunity to create new experiences. For breaking bad habits, is how to get away from motivating factor plus that cause desire or motivation, that generate bad behavior due to bad habits. Third, make it easy or to have subconscious mind accepted. As I said, you have heard from the beginning that, habits are formed by repetitive actions. Yes, repeat action means, that act with determination, which, in the beginning, 
It may be difficult, but after doing it for a while, you will begin to master it. We have to be patient, and repeat continually. At some point, the brain or the subconscious mind will accept this behavior, and eventually become a habit. If you're still confused, I suggest you go back and read The Melting of Ice. James also recommends rules, that keep us from getting too stressed out and forming a habit, this rule is the 2 minute rule. The essence of the 2 minute rule is, breaking down big goals to be a small goal, which will allow us to do it comfortably, but keep doing continuously. For example, instead of telling yourself tonight I will read this book, switch to the saying tonight I will read this book in two pages, you see, it's a different feeling. The first sentence, just thinking about it, is stressful, but the second sentence is very chilling. To the tune of doing little, but doing it for a long time, which enters the concept. Change a little every day. Fourth, satisfying. James said, The supreme law of behavior change is, that anything immediately awarded will be duplicated, and what was immediately punished will be avoided. There are two kinds of things that satisfy human beings. 1. Instant gratification after any action. 2. The satisfaction that was gained later. After any action. The human brain will favor first-rate pleasures more than the second type of satisfaction, because it is instant gratification. Therefore, we must know, how to reward ourselves, after any action no matter how small that action will it be. This is to allow the brain to secrete substances that create happiness, and the brain learns to perform these behaviors. Let's try to apply reward yourself. Mindfulness Practice However, the most important weapon in the process of habit formation from step 1 up to the fourth step is mindfulness. Being mindful will help you distinguish between what is a good habit and what is a bad habit? This awareness will let you know, how to motivate, how to make it easy, and how to reward yourself appropriately. Tips for creating good results. That last forever. James concludes with. The secret to creating good results that last forever, which is to never stop developing. With a clear picture in the process of the emergence of your behavior. After that know how to motivate to lead to behavior that do not force yourself too much, that is, know how to divide goals. Finally, you must know how to give yourself a reward from achieving the minor divided goals to encourage yourself to continue doing, until eventually. It becomes an automatic behavior, or the habit. Thank you. For listening. I hope you will gain some beneficial from this podcast. See you. In next international bestseller book podcast.